Right, so I'm gonna go around and start asking everyone what they were doing. I am tempted to ask Chance, but I just think she'll lie. She'll go, um, and then think of something to say. And then Sean will have to back it up. It's probably best to ask him first, then Chance, as opposed to Chance, then Sean. Ooh, that might be actually a good idea. All right, let's speak. Yeah, it turns out Nathan really wants to be in charge of the lab. Yeah, let's do this. <clears throat> Nathan's been pretty unhappy ever since. That's not good. Do you think he killed Dr. Johansson as revenge? Ime says that there's definitely resentment bubbling around Nathan. It's possible. Killing Dr. Johansson might not be an act of revenge, but wouldn't he be more likely to kill Jupiter instead? I was going to say, I mean, that seems rather fucking dramatic. What kind of reaction is that? Oh, well, I didn't get the job. Die! Oh, no, uh, whatever. At least if he did something like that, then he'd be able to get what he really wants. Mm, good point. Shit, it's probably a good idea to, you know, keep an eye on him. Even if he's not the murderer, he might take the opportunity to do something rash. Yeah, amen to that. I still think it's unlikely he's him. But he's a nerd, he can hurt a fly. I think that's how it works. <clears throat> Where were you between fucking 10 and 11? Yes, I'm suspecting you. Giving you a tour, then working at the main office, if I recall correctly. Why'd you ask? Oh, yeah. He was, wasn't he? Well, that's a good excuse. Oh, um, just trying to remember. I'm kind of in shock after what happened last night. Oh, it really is a tragedy. You know, if you want to talk to a grief counsellor... No, that's not it. I am a man. I'm manly. I don't need to talk. I sweat it out. It's nothing. I'll be fine. If you say so. Did anyone see you after you dropped us off at the dorms? I guess I went straight to the office, but class was in session, so there weren't too many people out. So maybe, maybe not? Okay. I'm still not entirely sure who I want to suspect, because anyone still is at this point. Let's go to the cafeteria and ask Chance. Where are you between 10 and 11? <clears throat> I'm not a suspect, am I? Everyone's a suspect. Ooh, you're taking this really seriously. Of, of course I am, the same way I did at the cafeteria and just say. And put on a tutu and prance around singing, oh, la di da di da. I'll keep fucking doing this for eternity unless someone tells me la di da di da who killed the person in the bathroom, da da. And it. No. Jesus. Just tell me where you were. If you must know, I was at work. I don't have to be on the campus until noon, but I wanted to bring Sean lunch. So I guess I arrived here a little after 11. Did anyone see you before then? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> a lot of maybes here. What does it matter? You're just going to suspect me anyway. I'd like to think it's her. But it's not, is it? <laughs> Let's face it. There's no need to be hostile about it. I'm just asking. Alright, where else can we go? Who else can we ask? Kevin? Mm. I guess? I, well, I'm pretty sure it can't be him at this point though, can it? I, we can't go to the bell tower. Student housing, boring. Oh, fuck it. Now let's just go and ask him. Move! Dorm room. Kevin! Aaron's still sleeping. I should give him more time. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God. Sorry, I called him Kevin because I was thinking kind of subconsciously about can says Kevin. Oops, I had left. <laughs> Yeah, he's called Aaron, or let's just call him photographer wanker for now. Let's just call him wanker. Much easier. <clears throat> Have you ever had a blood reaction? He may look to the side, she seems uncomfortable. I will take that as a yes. I'm sorry, if you don't want to talk about it. Yes. Right, no problem, I won't ask about it anymore. No, I mean, I have. Had a blood reaction? What happened? He may his eyes grow distant, and I wonder if I've dug into a memory that I shouldn't have. I forget. You don't remember what happened. Bullshit! I forget who I am. For a time, I am no one. You mean you black out? I hear thoughts of another. They fill my head until I no longer hear myself. Oh, okay. So you're more at one with that person than yourself. Gotcha. You actually hear that person's thoughts, not just their emotions? She nods numbly. I'm sorry. As am I. I did not understand what I was doing until then. <clears throat> She's an oddball. Oh, uh, alright, who else can we ask? Can we go to Jupiter? 
Uh, who's in the library? I don't even remember at this point. Oh, God, you two. <laughs> they seem unamused with me coming here. Hey, you lost. This is the library, right? Yeah. Then I'm pretty sure I'm not lost. It's just that you come in here a lot. You don't seem to be looking for anything in particular. I'm just exploring. You seem more like you're going in circles. Okay, there's a little bit of that. I'm an investigator. That's what I do. Jesus. There's no whiteboard to start putting on photos and start relating to it all yourself, is there? You're not bored, are you? You need something to do? Have you gotten a chance to one ride one of the bikes? There are bikes? Yeah, every three years, Sean's family donates a fleet of bikes to the school. Anyone who wants to use it could just grab one and bike around campus. I assume there is some sort of token system available, otherwise... Yeah, the bikes would go missing very quickly. That sounds like it has the potential to go wrong very quickly. Yet the bikes get wrecked or stolen pretty fast. No, nope, apparently not. But it's still cool. The Tass family is probably the most awesome family ever. Rich and smart and environmentally responsible. The whole family is a triple threat. Oh, God, prize drivers. <laughs> I dislike Sean even more. And Sean's the only eligible bachelor of the whole bunch. Honestly, if Jupiter cheated on me with him, I wouldn't mind at all. Right. right. TMI, man. So, basically, Sean and the Tasses are perfect and rich. <clears throat> Sean and the Tasses. Eh, I think Sean's quite far away from perfect. But, Chance is now dating Sean, and we now know that he has lots and lots of money. Well, that just... <laughs> help prove that Chance is still manipulating. Sounds like a great name for a band. I call dibs on Lee Guitar. Man, I wanted Lee Guitar. Then next time be faster. What What have I gained from that? Whatever. <clears throat> Let's talk to them. Where were you yesterday between 10 and 11? He was probably giving class. Oh. Yeah, at the lab, we're supposed to be in a 10 every morning to check on our work. Then we have classes to teach at 11. But if I remember it correctly, we ran into you instead. Yeah, I seem to recall that. Did you see anyone else? Yeah, David was there the whole time. And Jupiter? Can't say I remember seeing her at all. Sorry. Hmm. Jupiter? I think we need a word with you. After we speak to David, of course. Where were you between 10 and 11? He's going to say it, Nathan. <clears throat> um, around? <laughs> wow. I'm trying to solve a murder, and this guy's just like, oh, fuck it. Yeah, if you want to suspect me, just do it. What do I care? Forward slash colon. Uh -huh. He shrugs. He just essentially... I don't remember things. He did essentially just do that black woman thing. Nuh uh And just waggle the finger at him. That's what you've done. I don't remember things. Could you at least try? Um, Jupiter says that we have to be at the lab at 10 every day, so I guess I was there. Just like every other morning. <laughs> Thanks. Did you see anyone else? Yeah, you. Alright. What about Nathan? Well, yeah, we share one of the smaller labs, so we were there, both there all morning. And Jupiter? Um, I don't think I saw her until you showed up. <clears throat> that was a lot closer to 11, though. You didn't see her at all before? Nope. Uh, Alright, Jupiter. Need to ask where you were between 10 and 11. You probably have a completely legitimate excuse, but I have to ask regardless. Biology building. The deafening sound of the water. Which we can still hear down here. Oddly. Talk. Where were you between 10 and 11? Better have a good excuse. Oh, well. I don't think you were, because many people said you weren't. Just curious. And by curious, you mean I'm a suspect. Everyone is. That's fair. Random killings are more unlikely after all. Yeah. Well, I got here around 9. I was the only one here at the time. I always check the labs to make sure everything is in order before I start working. Is there any way you can prove this? Sure, I logged in using my student ID. Yeah, oh. that's quite dull. Yeah, it, it, it'd be nice just to be able to point the finger at someone. It's like, you did it! Oh, well. Yeah, Jupiter leans in, types a few lines into the keyboard. I suddenly forgot that line, skipped it. Look, you can see the time when I logged in right here. But, that could be someone else logging in on your behalf. That could easily be David <clears throat> with a car key logging in as opposed to it being you, I think. She points at the screen, the monitor is lit up with a list of login and log off times. Sure enough, she came in at nine yesterday. 
What about the others? When did they come in? Jupiter taps a few more keys. According to the system, Nathan, Nathan David logged in at 10 as usual. Aaron didn't, but he got special permission to stay behind and wait for you. Uh, her answer should be no. We just happen to remember that all, everything adds up here. Just a quick mental note. I didn't see either of them until I met you. Yeah, again, rather dull. So even though they logged in, they may not have been here. For instance, one of them could have used both cards. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. <laughs> I tried to give them freedom to show that I trust them, but such a thing can be abused. You have camera! Can't we use camera to see if someone did that? No? <clears throat> okay. Whatever. D d do we just go directly to them now and just accuse them of that? No, you don't want to go in the sleep lab. Jesus. I always forget which one's where. The main lab, back door, front door. We need to go to the front door and then... Yeah, no, going to the back door at this point is pointless. <clears throat> is there anything we can tell you? No, I didn't think so. <clears throat> so... Do you want to go straight back to Nathan David and be like, Hey, did you abuse it? Did you? Huh? Well, I'm not sure that's the best idea. Oh, well, hashtag swag. Nope. Come on, please be for one of you. No. All right. Let's go back out and tell everything we've learned to Gursky. Hopefully he'll tell us something more. Hello. I talked to almost everyone about their alibis for 10 and 11. Almost? The only person I didn't is Aaron and he's sleeping. <sighs> and? Sean was our tour guide for most of the hour, then he says he went to work at the university centre. I remember he left Aki and Lee May at the lab for a while. Sean says she was at work the whole time. Aaron's still sleeping, but I assume he was in his room all morning. Assume is a terrible word, Dave. Jupiter says she was in the lab for the entire hour, but no one saw her. David and Nathan were in that lab for that hour. Computer logon confirms all three of them in the lab. Aaron and Sean seem to have the shakiest alibis then. True, but I don't know if either of them have a motive. Nope, that's what we're trying to figure out now. <clears throat> From what I can tell, Dotty had to treat both of them very well. Well, it's not like the others are airtight either. Even if the other people saw Sean at the centre, there's still a gap of time after he left Aki. And just because a computer confirms a login doesn't mean that person was there. Yeah, we've learned nothing. This, so far, this has been 15 parts of someone died and you've learned nothing. <coughs> chance has a boyfriend, you've got no chance date. That's all we've learned. <coughs> Only thing we've learned is a cock block. Jesus. Search for motive, but do try to be discreet. Hang on to your cover for as long as you can. Right. <coughs> Alright, well someone's going to ask us, Hey, are you actually this? And I might have to be honest. Oh well, right, so we're looking for a motive. You're not the person I have to speak to, so I've still got to be speaking to normal people. So, Sean! Can't speak to you, worth a try? <laughs> Can't speak to you, worth a try. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Gotta be someone in here. No, okay, so none of you guys. I have passed David and Nathan so many times, they're gonna be done last. What I'm going to do now is go back to the student housing and hope that Aaron is awake. It's a big hope. Yeah, he is. Hey, feeling better? I'm going to throw up less. Does that count? I guess. Damn, that's a lot of things we're supposed to ask you. And, oh, God, where were you yesterday between 10 and 11? A hit, sleeping. That does not look like a face of someone who's telling the truth. <laughs> sleeping. Well, I'm, usually I'm supposed to be at the lab, but I got an exception because I was supposed to meet you. So, I slept in. Did anyone see you? I wouldn't know, I was asleep. David was probably long gone by then if he wanted to get to the lab on time at least. Uh, again, shaky. Very shaky. Can anyone think who might want Dottie had to dead? Pff, no. Okay. <laughs> what? That's the only answer you're going to offer? No, like some teenager. Oh, God, it's Nicole all over again. I don't think he stayed in any place long enough for anyone to hate him. What? He was always zipping around the world giving talks and stuff. The only person here who he really spoke to is Jupiter. She's basically in charge of everything. He pauses for a moment to consider a thought. Maybe Nathan will get the job now. Nathan? Dr. Hansen appointed Jupiter as head researcher here. 
But even though Nathan's been here longer, yeah, I know this. I heard he got super mad about that. You weren't here when it happened? No, I only transferred here last semester. So, you have practically no motive for murdering a professor. Oh, shame. Who told you about Nathan? Um, David, I think. He's my roommate. He introed me to everyone when I got here. Uh, has Dr. Johansson been acting strange lately? Not that you know. You know what? This guy's been taking photos the whole time and not once has anyone to, thought to just stop him. But like, hey, um... Can we see the photos? Because you took some, like, awkward times. Oh, dear. Has Dr. Johansson been acting strange recently? Strange how? I don't know, distracted, scared? No idea, I only met him twice and he was busy both times. Puh? Puh isn't like buh. But I guess coming here is kind of strange. Oh, why is that? He was supposed to be on a European lecture tour, but he cut it short to return. I'm not sure why, but I heard that he never cancels at all. Something must have brought it back in a hurry. Do you remember when he decided to come back? Uh, sometime last week, hard to say, sometimes the days just run together. And he didn't say why he cancelled it? Nope. That's suspicious, we're gonna have to find out why that is. Do you remember anything from yesterday that might help our figure out who killed Dr. Hansen? Did he say yesterday? No. He is useless. I try not to remember anything from yesterday, you know? Sorry to dredge up bad memories, I, 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 I accidentally skipped it. I know it's important, but it doesn't make it any more fun. Let's see, didn't see anyone I know on the way there. Kizuki looks worried, but he didn't say much. Like, has he got a stammer? Per worried? Alright. Wait, on the way out, I saw Chance's car drive by. Are you sure? Sure, there's kind of a dent in the back shaped like a pumpkin, or maybe a squash. But she was leaving the campus, which is weird, you know? She told me she didn't arrive on campus until after 11. Why would she be leaving? I don't know, I could be wrong. Chance. You are in some serious trouble.